Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain versus episode 4 and today I've got a real treat for you guys. I can't even believe what I'm looking at. This started as a little bit of a dream. Carter versus an elite warlord. Then I suspended them a little bit and just went mad from there. And this is celebrating our new versus diorama competition. We're on our discord to celebrate a thousand members. You can create a versus diorama and the main prize is a pelican inbound. So you you definitely won't want to miss out on that. Link in the description and the comment of this video for our Discord and more details about that at the end of the video. So let's check out this diorama. Carter versus, I guess, a banished platoon. And I know the first thing you're going to say, this is not technically 1v1. It is in some ways. It's Carter versus the Elite Warlord. I wanted everything else to be more like background, although some of these elites are clearly still alive. So I'm cheating a little bit, but you know what? I make the rules around here. So we have a load of rules for our competition, but they're only guidelines. The real number one rule is to just have fun. So here we have Carter. I guess this is non-canonical. These are kind of Halo Reach figures. I really wanted to use a skirmisher, but I've not got that skirmisher pack yet. So I put a jackal there and then a load of grunts. Yes, a load of these are Halo Infinite figures, but this definitely takes place on Reach, in my opinion. So what's happening here? We've got this machine gun. It's a very important asset because a load of Covenant troops are about to land and Carter's been taking out a load of the platoon. So they needed to stop this turret. More and more enemies converged on this location, but Carter just wasn't having any of it, and he's taken them down one by one. Originally, it was some grunt scouts with one elite, and then when they got taken out, a load more elites came in, and it all just went downhill from there for the for the Covenant, at least. Like, they are not having a good day. You don't want to pick a fight with Carter, of all people. So I started really simply with one base plate, and then layered a load more on. I like to make sure that there are loads of different 3D elements. So a lot of my pieces are at different elevations. I've rounded it all off a lot as well. And I like to start with a light green grass and then have some more dirty grass leading into some more sort of solid soil. I want it all to be different colors. Then some sandbags sort of lock it together. It's all focused around this turret and this turret is uh, actually from one of the fire team sets and it has these really nice legs that I made sure all touch the ground in a really natural way. So first of all I wanted to suspend these two figures. And I suspended the Carter with a very interesting little mechanism there. So I could make sure that I could suspend him at any angle I chose. Then the Elite Warlord is suspended from a sandbag. I thought that was a really easy way to do it. And then everything sort of kept on going from there. I just kept on suspending more and more things. Yeah, I am just really happy with this series and this diorama in particular. This is definitely my favorite one so far. But this Versus series has just been such a blast in general. Once I had the first two figures, I just kind of went nuts. This Elite is is suspended right out of Carter's back. These rods are actually from Halo Heroes. They come in at a really nice 90 degree angle. He's jolting straight out and being assault rifled. I love this Halo Reach assault rifle with muzzle flare. And you will also notice there's kind of two different types of muzzle flare on this diorama. What I like about Mega Constructs is each muzzle flare comes in two pieces. So both together I like to use for things like DMRs, but then one on its own for more like impact weapons like shotguns. And then the small one for burst weapons like SMGs and assault rifles. The next elite is suspended at a 90 degree angle coming out of this back. Again, it's a Halo Heroes rod, so you have two sticks coming out. This one coming out at an angle here. I love how much I can suspend these. And I've also used some dead bodies here to sort of cover up all of these pieces so it's not so obvious. The dead bodies, I also like the grunts sort of all scrambling towards the turret. I think that's a really nice touch. There's definitely all the grunts weapons lying around. And this Billy is getting a face full of whatever's in this barrel. Halo Reach weapons as well. We've got a plasma repeater and a concussion rifle. Just excellent. Just absolutely excellent. This, this, uh, I've, I've always wanted to put Carter into, like, a really intimate diorama. He's my favorite Halo hero. I actually just got him recently. I also decided to give the Elite Warlord the newer energy sword, just to match the energy sword that Elite has as well. So this is fantastic. Right up my alley. This is definitely my most chaotic 1v1 diorama yet, but 
I just won't be getting any more serious from here on out. Like, I'll just keep on making them more and more epic. I love the explosions of color in this one. I love all the different levels. Like, diorama should never just be on one flat terrain. They should all be at different vantage points. So, as you can see, I've changed the camera three times already. And every time, there's something more and more interesting to look at. This jackal also, as it may seem weird, is helping Carter to stand up as well. Like, everything is sort of locked together in a way that just helps balance it all out. I'm a huge fan of this one, guys. A huge fan. And you should definitely let me know if Noble Team is something I should be focusing on with upcoming dioramas. Halo Reach is just all about last man standing, you know? And Carter is definitely going to be the last one standing here. This is another one of my versus dioramas, guys. And we're just getting started. I want to be pumping these out as much as possible. And they're all to celebrate our new 1K diorama competition that's happening on our Discord right now. And the grand prize is a sealed Pelican inbound from 2020 Halo Infinite. So if you would like to win a Pelican inbound, you gotta head over to our Discord right now and submit your own 1v1 diorama. The maximum base plate size is 30 by 30, but we're really keeping the rules very relaxed. Have 1v1, but loads of casualties, destroyed vehicles if you want, molded and sculpted terrain. You can paint your figures, you can add cotton buds and special effects and whatever you want to make your picture pop and get the attention of our judges to send you a Pelican inbound. This has been another video with The Domain, guys. Please do let me know what you want to see next. I'll take any requests. I'd love to do more Noble Team, more Iconic Heroes. Even if it doesn't make canonical sense, I'll be doing some really weird Spartan verses in the future. Stay awesome out there. Stay safe. The Domain is signing off. Lieutenant. Commander, sir. I'm Carter. Noble Team's leader. That's Cat, Noble 2, Meal and George 4 and 5. You're riding with me, Noble 6.